Wow! Oh my god, you're gonna wanna see this. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a sort of an interesting thing for me because there's a lot of like mysterious kind of things in there, but I'm going to be showing you what is in my camera bag. And, sorry to say, I know you guys are going to be sad because if you guys liked it as much as I did, the Foxhawk is gone. The Foxhawk had a great life. But no more. Because my girlfriend wanted to cut it off or something. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but in my vision, that burp just shook the whole room. But, without further ado, let's go over to the table, where it's a desk, and uh, let's get right into the, what's in my camera bag. So there's a lot of miscellaneous items in here, and I'll explain why I have those. And uh, let's, let's get right into it. So, which one do I want to go with first? These. These are honestly crucial for me. Um, I, I typically have index cards in my bag too just in case I want to do some sort of writing diagram or something like that. Pens are essential. All this is is a lens cleaner, a sensor cleaner. So my camera actually has a sensor cleaner built right into it. Truthfully, not really sure how good that works, but that is why I have those. You might be wondering, wow, how does this sound so good if your microphone's right on the table right here? Well, I will tell you, Honestly, for an affordable price point, uh, I believe like around $140, $150. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, I had the Rode VideoMic Lightweight, I think I think it was. And the, the bad thing about that one is I, I actually live in an apartment complex, believe it or not. I don't have a mansion yet. So there was a lot of IR interference, some sort of interference to where there was a, a big, like a knocking. I have a video on it and I'll link it up above. They did a terrific job with helping me out in this time of interference. The next thing that I want to get into, where, where are the cameras? The Canon is a Canon Rebel T2i. It was actually my first camera that I bought off of a friend. Um, it was a, it's a great starter camera for anybody who wants to start out photography. Uh, you could probably get it for honestly around $100. It's a crop sensor, so just keep in mind if you buy an 85 millimeter lens, it'll probably be roughly uh, 100 and 10 millimeters. Um, so just keep that in mind with crop sensors. I upgraded to, to the full frame camera. So the Sony A7 Mark II, which is right here, represented by these two beautiful lens caps. So the Sony A7 Mark II is a full frame camera. It's a mirrorless camera. So it just, the camera quality is just so pristine and so mint. And it's such a big upgrade for me because I went from the crop sensor to the full frame. I love it. I love everything about it. Uh, the next th thing that I want to get into, these two lenses right here, they're 50 millimeter 1.8. This is actually, this is why they're called the Nifty 50. You can do a number of different th things, whether it's a portrait, whether it's landscapes, whether it's product ph photography, auto photography, whatever the case may be, you can do it with all of this. And now I know your eyes might have went to this fishing line. So the reason I have the fishing line is for a number of reasons. The, the, the main reason is if you're out and about and you want to do something that's called the floating, you can tie it to, to the fishing line, tie it up somewhere, whether it's on, I did, I did the picture that I just posted on the tripod and you could just edit out the line that is obviously going to be in the picture, but then you'll get the floating object. So that's why I have that. And to cut it, I use this beautiful moose knife that my best friend's dad bought me. I think these two things, this is actually a, so you can press it, point it at the camera, and it'll actually take a picture. It is hot in this apartment. Um, this this actually attaches to this loom cube that my girlfriend bought me for Christmas. But this is really, really cool for lighting, which I should have went over this first, because now I'm going to put it up. All right, so now you'll probably see that you get a little bit of light back there, and that's the loom, cu loom cube. But this attaches to the loom cube, and then it can attach to the camera. If you want extra light in the picture, you can do it that way. This... It essentially goes onto the loom cube and it, it creates like a little bit of a, a lighting fixture. So that's very cool. My, my buddy gave me this. So I'm very, very thankful for that. He's so kind. He's so kind to me. Now going to this bottom row, something that's very, very essential. AirPods. 
I love AirPods because it's very, very inconspicuous. Uh, and when I'm talking on uh, talking on the phone, I can put them in and I look like a crazy person, so nobody wants to be around me. So that's good. Corona time. This is also a nifty thing in my camera bag that before I sold my laptop, I would put my laptop in the camera bag, but instead I have the big iMac that I'll show you right now. For, for whatever reason, the SD card that I have does not connect properly to it. The form, there's a formatting issue wrong with it, so I had to buy this to then put the SD card in to this and then into the computer, and then now I can get the videos onto my computer. So that is why I have this. This is only 20 bucks. But, what can you do? Um, these two things are batteries. Well, this is a battery. Uh, this is the Canon charger, Canon battery charger. This is my Sony battery charger that are essentials in my camera bag, because wherever you go, you're gonna, need, you're gonna need a charger. You're gonna need to charge your battery. That only leaves two things, two objects left. And you might have been thinking this whole time, why do you have cards in there? Well. Like I said in previous videos, every single YouTuber that I know, YouTuber photographer that I know, they know magic. So, in a pinch, if I'm bored, you'll be able to practice, you'll be able to do tricks, and I actually created a photo with playing cards, and if you ever have any sort of idea that you want to do with playing cards, you can always do it. Alright, and then one of the best things that I purchased, it was, it was for my Canon camera, I have, I have to upgrade and get one for my Sony camera, but this Polaroid Neutral Density Filter, ND filter for sure. Um, this is a variable ND filter, so you might be able to see it on camera. If you spin this dial on the front, it gets super dark, so you can, depending on, on what your lighting situation is looking like, this is also very good for long exposure. So for anything regarding a waterfall, if you wanna do a water, waterfall, these are a must, unless you for some reason can. All right, I mean, the, the next two things that I have um, would be this big contraption here. Um, this is just a post that if you're ever shoot, shooting a video for like football or doing something like track or something that, that requires movement, this just sits on the ground and you can just spin it. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that is what's in my camera bag. Let's cut to the outro. All right, guys, that is about it for, the, for what's in my camera bag 2020 in May. I, I, I use my peripherals like Patty Mahomes does. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, if you did, even a little, little bit, Show me some support, like the video, subscribe to the video if you want to see more content from me. Without further ado, thank you all for watching if you got to this far. Um, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. Actually, I will say please hit that like button. If you hated it, well, uh, sorry you did, but tell me why in the comment section below. And without further ado, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. It's tropical mango juice. Best kind of juice.